everybody, it's Wendy and I and Chris is videoing and I'm coming to you today from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina and I wanted to show a bead store here in Myrtle Beach. This is Moonstone Beads. So this store is owned by a lady named Tina and she's a very, very sweet lady. I've been in there and talked with her a little bit. But all of you that live in North Carolina, I want you guys to know this store is here. Um, there aren't very many bead stores left, and so Moonstone Beads, and we're going to walk inside. She's given me permission to walk inside and film a little bit in her store. So we're just going to walk in there. I'm going to show you guys. She has all kinds of really cool, unique stuff. She's got Czech. She's got Swarovski. She's got um, Super Duo. She's got Fire Polish. She's got everything. So um, let's walk inside. classes here actually not while the virus is going on but um, under normal circumstances she teaches classes and these are all samples of things that you can make if you want to take one of her classes so um, she's got all these different bead weaving things um, she's got jewelry on the stands all around and if you want to walk over here I'm going to show you she has beautiful beautiful products So if you can see, the whole store is just beautiful beads. Um, there's Toho's, there's all kinds of seed beads, Delicas, um, she's got check glass, she's got all the really cool buttons and stuff, and then really unique um, gemstone type things on all of these um, tables in the middle. So yeah, I just wanted to throw a shout out to her and to Moonstone Beads. And if you're in North Carolina, make your way over here. It's a great store and I'm excited. So um, I will have some information in the description box below. Um, she is partnered with an online website. And if you buy from that website, she gets 40% of the proceeds. So I'll put all that in the description box below. And yeah, come on out and visit Moonstone Beads if you get a chance. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, so we had a wonderful visit to Moonstone Beads. Um, this is Tina's card. It is 610 Highway 17 Business South, Sweet H, Surfside Beach, South Carolina. Um, there is her email and her phone number. And I'm going to put all this in the description box below. But if you visit viralbeads.com, and you use coupon code Seaside Stones. Now it's all caps, and there's a space between between Seaside and Stones. So Seaside space Stones. Then you'll she'll get forty percent of what you um, what you purchase on that website, and it will help her store. Um, so I want all of you guys to check that out at least. Um, you know, I'm not saying you have to buy something, but just check it out because. Um, Tina, you know, since this virus has started, she said she's really been struggling and she may have to close the store. And I just think it's so sad to see any um, bead store going up out of business. So I'd really like to um, try to help her, you know, um, get her some business, some publicity. And um, yeah, we just we need to help her save that store. We don't want to see that close down. So anybody that is in the Myrtle Beach area or South Carolina within, you know, driving distance, North Carolina, South Carolina, wherever you are, um, if you're over that way, please, please stop in her store and show her some love. So um, I'm going to show you guys the things that I got from her store. Okay, I'm telling you, I had <laughs> the best time in there. I think Chris was so bored, but um, he was very sweet and just did not rush me and <laughs> let me take my time and look around. But I'm telling you, she has some fantastic things in her store. So the first thing I saw were these are Toho seed beads, and I hope you can see the color on here. It is 20 grams of 11 O. Um, these are silver gray galvanized and they're so pretty. I mean, this color just jumped out at me. So if you can see, they are not just silver. They've got like a, I don't know, a greenish tint to them almost, but they're beautiful and I just loved them. So I picked these up 
And I like Toho's. They're, they're my favorite seed bead because they're very even. Um, I never have any trouble with them being wonky or, you know, anything like that. And I've never had trouble with the finishes rubbing off on Toho. So she had an entire wall of Toho seed beads. I mean, I could have gone crazy in there, but I was trying to be good. <laughs> so there's those. And then these, these were called fairy drops. And I had never seen these before. Did I get two? I got two of these. So look at these. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So these are Ceylon light yellow, it looks like. Let me see if I can get them open. There we go. They are little, um, look at their drops. Can you tell? Can you tell that they have a little, I mean, they're so tiny that it's hard to, it would be hard to pick one up, but they have the, they're a little drop. They have the thing at the top and I thought they were so cute. I'd never seen them before. So I picked up two of these. I got these in the Ceylon light yellow, which I think looks cream. And so that's why I got it because it would go with a lot of things. And then this one is a metallic bronze and this 12 grams of these and they are just so cute little tiny drops. They were called fairy drops. So I got those, love them. And then I was so excited when I saw these O-beads because I've needed to get some O-beads and uh, I just haven't done it. I haven't ordered them. So I saw these and was so excited. Um, these are aluminum silver. These are crystal capri gold. And these are jet. And look how pretty. I love O-beads. And there's a lot you can do with them. So I was really, really glad to find those. And she had tons more colors too. And then, oh, look at these guys. These are so pretty. Oh my goodness. These were Czech Drux. Um, these are mint and gold. And just look at them. They're beautiful. Love the color. So I got those. And then they she had them in this, which is etched amber something turquoise <laughs> but look at the finish on them I just think they're gorgeous and these are like um they have like a I don't know it almost reminds me of that paint that gives texture to things yeah they're so pretty and I had another strand of those these are red Picasso I love Picasso finishes look at those oh they're so pretty all right, and then the fire polish beads. Now, I could have lost my mind going crazy in there on these fire polish beads. They were, she had tons of fire polish beads in like every size imaginable. I was, oh, I couldn't even believe it. But I picked four strands of just really pretty, unique colors, I thought. So let me see if I can tell you what colors these are. These are. This is purple vitriol. Oh, look at them. They're so pretty. Um, this one is Sage Luster. I love this one. It's the first one I picked up and I carried it around forever uh, in the store. <laughs> this one is Bronze Rose Luster. And again, I love, it's like a deep burgundy. It is so pretty. And this one is Dark Fuchsia Metallic which looks purple, actually. It doesn't really look fuchsia. It looks purple. But aren't they gorgeous? And I don't know if these are some of the new colors. I know there are new colors out, but I hadn't seen these colors. And, oh, I just went nuts. As you can tell, everything I got kind of coordinates, and I didn't even do that on purpose. It just happened. Okay, then she had the um, these beads, these conch shell beads, and I love these. And this is, it doesn't say the color, but, oh, I love them. I think they're so cool. I actually used some on a necklace here. Um, on my last finished jewelry update, I think it shows it. But I love this color. I thought that was so pretty. And then these. I had never seen these before. These are sea green Picasso. 10 by 8. Check glass. Look how gorgeous these beads are. Oh, my goodness. They're, like, faceted. If you can tell, they're almost, like, table cut. Look at them. They are so pretty. Yes, I just love those. And then I got these blue ones in the same. Well, they're, they're not exactly the same. These are called Check Glass 
10 by 11 cornflower Picasso. Oh, they're so pretty. I just thought they were so unique. I've never seen beads like these before. Okay. And then she has all these tables. Well, let me show you the button for all oh, these buttons. I love these buttons so much. So look at this one. These are the check glass buttons. Like they have the shank. You can use them for closures on your bracelets and stuff. Isn't that pretty? I got that one and this one. I just thought they were so gorgeous. Look at that. So there's those. <clears throat> and then um, she had these tables all sitting out with glass, um, little glass bowls on them. And they had beautiful beads in them. Um, a lot of gemstone things and stuff. And I got several. So these are little, they're like, they're drilled through the middle right here. And I just thought they were so cool. I think they would be real pretty to beat around, like do a brick stitch around or something, but I thought they were really pretty. They're all check glass, I believe. These are check glass. I don't know what these are called. And then these leaves, I thought were so pretty with this AB. They're like a light pink with an AB finish. Oh, look at them. They're so beautiful. Oh, love them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to think of something. And then these I just thought were really, really cute. Look at them. And they have a hole in the middle right here. See? <laughs> oh, they were so cute. And then these little flowers. I like these really well. And I think I had in mind to do a bracelet using these. And they're drilled this way. See? Just like that. So I thought those were so pretty. So those are what I picked up from the glass tables. And then she had a whole wall of findings. <laughs> like, I was in heaven. I mean, it was like bead heaven in there. I'm not even kidding. Um, everywhere you looked. And there were people in there making things. And, oh, I just wish that we had something like that here in Fayetteville. Okay, so I got these. Um, these are tulip bead caps. And, I, you know, I've been making all these um, lucite flower earrings and stuff lately. These right here, and I just thought these would be so pretty on one of these. So I picked up a pair of those little bead caps. I didn't have anything like those. I thought they were really cool. And then I got some filigree. Look at these butterflies. Oh, I thought these were pretty. So there's some antique bronze and red copper. That may be antique gold. I don't know. I can't tell antique gold from antique bronze. But I got several of these little butterflies. I thought they were so cute. Just little filigree pieces. Okay. Um, and then she had these chandelier earring findings. And I kind of went crazy on these. I bought like one of each. But I thought they were so pretty. These are tiara cast, I think. But look how pretty they are. This little chandelier earring finding, and this is like an antique gold, I think. There's that one. <coughs> Excuse me. There was this one, which I thought was really pretty too. Um, and I got several of that one in just different colors. This is like a little more of a copper one. Aren't they pretty? I guess they could be connectors too, but I think they'll make really pretty earrings. And then this one again in the red copper. <laughs> and I got a couple silver. Antique silver, it looks like. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? There's those. And these. But I just thought they were so gorgeous. So there is, that's everything I got from Tina's store. So again, Moonstone Beads in Myrtle Beach. I'm going to show you some a couple other things that I picked up while we were down there too. I'm just going to scoot those out of the way. And I will, as I said, I will put all her um, information and this coupon code and everything in the description box below, okay? And then we went over to a place called um, Barefoot Landing. 
and they had this sea glass so I bought this bag of sea glass I thought this was really pretty and there's so much that you can do with this you can wire wrap it um, you can make pendants if you wire wrap it the smaller pieces these little nuggets and stuff you can um, you can either glue like a bale on somehow or you can wire wrap them they look really pretty wire wrapped into earrings so I like this package because it has a lot of the different colors. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? It'd be so pretty wire wrapped and a charm hung in front of it and then strung on a necklace. So I got a bunch of sea glass. Um, and then we went to this store. I can't remember the name of this store. Oh, it's Black Market Minerals. And it's in, um, I think it's at Barefoot Landing too. Yeah, it is. And I got some agate slices. Now I'm going to list some of these up on my website. I'm going to put bales on them first. But aren't these gorgeous? Look at these agate slices. So like I said, I'm going to glue bales on so that you can make a pendant out of them. And then I'm going to list these on my site. But oh, aren't they pretty? Look at that. Yeah, they had just beautiful different colors of agate slices. I just think these are stunning. I love them. Look at this one. The pink with the orange on the edge. Oh, they're so pretty. So yeah, I'm going to glue bells on these and have these on my website. And I may wire wrap some of these and put them up on the site as well. Um, just as pendants. And then you could string them however you wanted. And then um, they had this not remember the name of this. I'm thinking it was called Kyrite. Um, I'll have to find the receipt. I don't know where it's at. But yeah, this was so pretty too. Look at this. Look at the way it shines. There, and that's a good piece of it. Can you see how that shines? It's got like, yeah, there it is. Oh, it's beautiful. And I thought how pretty these would be um, to wire wrap into earrings. Oh my goodness. They're, it's just pretty. It's really pretty. Um, or tiny pendants, like I can see this is a little pendant wire wrap. Oh, so I did get that. Oops, get in there. And then, um, what's in here? I can't remember. <laughs> Poor Chris, I mean, he was just like wandering around all these beads and all oh, these. Yes, these are so beautiful. These are going to be up on the website, too. Um, look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? They're these blown glass. Whoops. Trying to, there we go. These pendants. Oh, they're so pretty. So these, as well, will be up on the website eventually. I know none of it is up there right now. I haven't had a chance. I just got, we just got back, and Sunday, yesterday was busy, so. But aren't they cute? They're just beautiful. Look at that. They are beautiful pendants. I've forgotten about those. Okay. And then I got this quartz. This is dyed quartz. Look how pretty. Wouldn't it be gorgeous to wire wrap? Oh my goodness. Or you could glue like a um, cord end kind of bale on the end of it and make a pendant. I just look at that color. So, so pretty. So I don't know if I will put these on the website just plain or if I will wire wrap them first but eventually all of this stuff will be up there if you're interested in any of it um, before I get it up there just email me <laughs> but I think all of it was so pretty so and the agate slices were just oh they're gorgeous so anyway um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I am getting ready to start a weight loss journey I actually started yesterday. I'm doing a low carb, not keto because I'm not that disciplined, <laughs> but low carb. I'm just going to try to cut out like breads and sugars and just things like that. Um, so yeah, so I want you guys to hold me accountable. I'm, I'll update you on my progress um, as I can. So that is one new thing that's going on with me. Um, and everything else is going pretty good. Chris was really sweet and took me to Myrtle Beach. Um, last week was a rough week um, with the loss of Catherine Kay. And um, so, you know, he was took me to Myrtle Beach just to kind of get away for the day. And we really enjoyed the ocean. Um, 
you know, we just, we spent some time in the, in the shops and stuff. And then we walked over and, um, just sat on the, uh, on the beach for a little while and enjoyed the ocean. I love to sit and look at the ocean. Um, and it always makes me think of the scripture in Isaiah where it says that God holds the oceans in the palm of his hand. And I just think, you know, we serve a great and awesome, awesome, huge, big God. I mean, think about that. If he holds the ocean in the palm of his hand, how just how great and mighty he must be. And uh, so that helps me, you know, when you go through trials in life and you think um, God can handle anything. You know, we uh, serve the greatest God and the only God, <laughs> but the greatest God. And uh, he... Um, if he holds the oceans in the palm of his hand, he can help me handle my little life situations that I deal with every day. So I love that. I love to sit on the ocean and just meditate a little bit and think about that. So, um, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link all of the information for Moonstone Beads in the description box below. And like I said, if you're over there, um, give them a visit. It is really a great store. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed myself in there and we stayed a couple hours and I would have stayed even longer, but Chris was like, you know, starving and had to go to the restroom and <laughs> was tired of looking at beads. <laughs> he was getting antsy. <laughs> so anyway, um, you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.